This is a disassembled Sony SLV315 VCR and the problem with this unit is that when you press the power button the LED flickers briefly and doesn't stay on constantly. You can see from here the video head drum spins slightly but it doesn't spin at full speed as it should. And on the display, you can see the display flickers, but no information remains constantly, as it should. When I try to insert a tape in, it will only go about one third way before the machine rejects it back to me. And I cannot force it in. And you can see that the motor is working partially, at least enough to keep the tape from being loaded into the machine. And that makes me assume the motor for the tape loading mechanism is still good. Since this is an older unit and there are indications of power, partial motor and digital display, it leads me to assume the problem could be either microcontroller or the power supply. And uh, most likely it is power supply which has bad capacitors that are not storing and filtering enough power to supply the uh, digital circuit and they will need to be replaced. It is a good idea to remove all the capacitors from the power supply because it is not always possible to determine visually a bad capacitor. I removed all the capacitors from the power supply. Sometimes you can tell the signs of a bad capacitor from a bulging top or bottom. Here you can see an obvious sign of a bad capacitor with a bulging bottom where the rubber has been pushed out by the gas built inside. After I replace all the capacitors in the power supply, it's time to see if it works. And here you can see the blinking clock as before. And as I turn on the power button, the display shows information and actually stays there. And the video head drum spins continuously and comes to a stop, which is normal for a working VCR of this model. And now I will try to load the tape. As I push the tape inside, the loading mechanism accepts it and pushes the tape next to the video head drum. And the drum continues to spin, which is a good sign. So it seems that by replacing all the capacitors in the power supply, it corrected the problem Mechanically, the tape is playing forward and you can see the real spinning, but digitally the LCD counter is not incrementing. And also, I'm not getting an image on the monitor, which is a sign of another problem, most likely due to the video head drum being oxidized or dirty or consumed. But the important thing is, mechanically, and electronically that the VCR functions normally and uh, we will just have to troubleshoot the blue screen problem later and here the tape rejects without any problems